what's up guys this is the broke woman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire dead of war let's play as the united states of america and in this episode at the garrison of mysore is attempting to sally to try and well defend their city i don't think it's going to work they got a lot awful lot of chaff in this army um but let's get ready to defend and destroy the garrison we do want to make sure we practice good uh good strategies in keeping our troops alive because right now until we secure Mysore uh, this army is going to struggle for uh, replacements so we want to make sure that we minimize our losses as much as possible because we need to capture the city and then repair the city replenish and then then we're ready to rock and roll but we want to make sure that we've got that we're not too weak because otherwise a responding Marathon army could just wipe us out so that and that would be very bad but I don't think we have to worry here Ooh, terrain is abysmal really bad I like this hill but they might deploy outside of it outside of the walls rather so let's deploy my uh, foot artillery because they're going to try and get up onto the walls my howitzers are going to open up the quick line. Okay, let's make the infantry unit on the left. I want my Marines, Grenadiers, and Republican Guards to storm the centre of the line to secure the hill. And another detachment of infantry on the right. Skirmishers on either side. Probably put okay, my light, meet my heavy and light cavalry together, my medium cavalry. And then, okay. So we are going to be in their um, their artillery range, but they don't have any mortars, so that's great. Because want to be spread out a little bit more this way. Rifleman position, play stakes. Probably bring my scouts over onto the right as well. Okay, if I can get my foot artillery up on this hill, we can do a lot of damage to the troops inside the fort. Just had a quick climb range. Okay, let's get my howitzers just to bombard the larger infantry units. We're not so bothered about their um, artillery. Once our foot artillery gets into position, we're going to rain hell down onto them. Bring my general up onto the high ground. We'll keep a regiment of horse nearby on the left, but I don't think we're going to really need it. So we could start to try to bottle them up around these entrances. But I don't want them to garrison the walls. I want them to come out. So my howitzers, yeah, they can open fire on regular targets. Try again, get some kills, gain some experience. Did they get any kills with that hit? It looks like most of the guys that knocked down, they got knocked down and getting back up again. As the Lord and Saviour Chumbawamba has foreseen okay get my guns deployed spin those guns around and rain fire down on top of them let's maybe get my howitzers to clink at these chips although let's angle this line just a little bit it's my foot artillery don't have to aim at anything specific, I'm just not really bothered about all of my... Like, some of these units can go after their artillery, that's fine, but I don't want all of them. This was just a, tradition, a traditional rainbow. I think still out of quick climb. Well, mostly they're out of quick climb. These guys are in, but only for the time being. 
out of shrapnel shot range. So yeah, right now it's just my artillery opening up on the enemy. Oh, you're not actually firing. So let's give you target there, Camori. One gun team is bugged, that's super. One hit dead on. But yeah, until they work out what they want to do, they are going to be under the merciless fire of my artillery. Oh, there we go, we've killed another gun team. Awesome. Okay, let's retarget. Aim at them. Basically, the cavalry is the bigger problem right now. Now, my howitzers continue to plink cat their infantry. So, their general. Their general's back here. Forming their line, but the center of their line is going to break quite quickly. And that's where we want to rely on our howitzers to provide support on the flanks. Dari horsemen are moving up. Very well. Just keep focusing on the center. She maybe now try to hit that. Well, if the 18 pounder's not firing, we don't care. Their infantry cavalry side out for a brief moment. Still positioning their troops. There we go, we've got their gunners. Keep going after the cavalry. Just just wait for them to wait for them to position and then move up, I think. That's gonna be the name of the game. Until that happens, just bombard. Okay, that cavalry on the flank may well get some use. Let's get them over into the shade of these trees. Who are we waiting for? Nobody. Interesting. I mean, you're definitely def you're definitely attacking me. That's why there's no centre for me to attack. I mean, they've manned their gun again. Their routing and the gun is destroyed. Here we go. Now it's to start shooting quickline. There we go. Start knocking some holes in these units. Make sure my long riflemen deploy their stakes. Polygar upset. Oh yeah. Put artillery, let's retarget. Cavalry out. Shrapnel shot. Let's keep my general a little bit back. Stop his aides from getting killed. Good kills. Good kills. And my light cavalry to suck up the. Lancers, my long riflemen get in here. Camel gunners, but we're going to deal with them well enough. Get the howitzers to work on blanks. Get my large enemy route in the centre. So they, yeah, that camel gunner has just done a lot of damage to their own troops. If we break the Lancer unit, okay, my cuirassier break off and deal with the camel gunners. My light cavalry can deal with the Lancers well enough. We need to position to deal with these, this melee troop coming towards us. Regiment of Horse, go for the horsemen. 
There are melee infantry around that are looking to get involved into the combat. Light cavalry, get out of here. kind of what that's really how you kind of want to use melee troops use them to pin your troops where you want them or pin your use your um, cavalry to pin your oh where did they oh they got shot at by the camel gunners when they tried to rout You're going to swing in and make sure these um, populous units are break, break. Yeah, you got, she got shot by the camel gunners. My regular regiment of horse just keep running. getting caught out by the melee infantry. We might get caught out by the cavalry as well, the polygar. Hold this formation back. Form you form square, run all my skirmishes through the square. making the Islamic swordsmen scamper around. Okay, start to trap the shot of the general because he's making his way through. Shattered. Okay, come back. Let's knock the corner off this edge. You men chase down the enemy cavalry. Probably want to start cutting this enemy force in half. See, we're about to get pulled out. Charge the armed populace. They're the weakest unit. The skirmishers should win against the camel gunners. See if we can break the armed populace. If we can. See if you can shatter them. I mean, obviously keeping an eye on the. Okay, you guys run back to the main line. Just keep chasing after them to make sure they break. feeling pretty safe. You guys start shrapnel shotting the armed populace. You guys go up there and do warrior garrison unit. Just keep killing them. Just we just want to really make sure they route. As long as we don't get we don't get the Hindu warriors don't catch up to them. Charge the, oh no, hold the light cavalry. 
Get those out ready to engage. Let's bring my cavalry back. Good, they're being chased away. Everyone's fired all their volleys. I think that's everyone else. But yeah, now you have to run all the way back. They're charging. Everybody engage that last Hindu warrior unit and we can probably stand to just scoot forward a little bit. Again, we're not worried about trying to destroy the garrison completely, we just don't want to lose um, our troops. Hey, those uh, dervishes came back. charge into them then. See regular infantry, late game infantry there, not a sl <laughs> not slouches. Okay, this guy charged all the way through the line, now he's behind them. They're squaring up. Nope, doesn't matter. Good, good, good. So that's the garrison damaged. We've been damaged too, but 288, that's not bad. And a lot of our units gained experience for their first action in the field. Oop, you guys carry on. Ooh. Uh, the garrison of goers pushing out. Uh, let's fight this manually just in case. I don't like how that troop in the east is loitering, <laughs> waiting to take advantage of our good fortune, no doubt. But yeah, again, we want to try and keep our the strength of our armies high, just so we can not get caught out, especially in the west. Um, in the east, we've got lots of troops running around, but in the west, we are relatively low on numbers. So we do want to bear that in mind. It's a lovely battlefield, this one. Nice and lush and green. Get my light infantry up on the high ground. There we go. How it's deploy. And we are going to fly a quick line just because we want them to be killed. Don't need to worry about these units. Look at how it's just working on their strongest units. Foot artillery, just open fire as they please. Misfires. Some good hits against the dervishes. It looks like they may attempt to get around the flank. And that's why my light troops are here. Hidden light troops, no less. And they're waiting for the enemy to pop up. Artillery! Artillery! Firing 
me again. Okay, maybe all of you going after that one unit's a bit of a bit of a bad idea. Come on, how it's just fire up another volley. Slam a few shells right in the middle of their formation. Misfires. Nice. This one's doing great, though. 110 men killed in this formation. But speed up until they get into musket range. Because until that happens, not a huge amount's going to really happen. We're not that worried about chasing them down with cavalry either. I mean, we should, I suppose we should, really. Well, no, actually, they might be sallying because it's their last um, chance. Let's, let's test it. I think it might be their last turn to uh, stop us. So let's see if it works. Shattered, broken. There you go. The dervish is going to crest the hill and engage the fire. Of the 20th Lightfoot. Watch them kick into action. Stand up and be recognised. A couple of kills, not a crazy amount. See the Hindu warriors, they are going to charge us. Well, attempt to. They're already wavering. Broken. A couple more volleys. Some populous units coming back. Didn't take them many units to decide. Continuing was a bad idea. Ooh, good hits. Shattered. Shattered, shattered. These men with their swords running in. down by the superior musketry of the North Americans. Here come the dervishes though. 143rd. You better get reloaded. You have a new threat to your way. Excellent. You're just firing into the ground for the most part. Yep, this force is had <laughs> it's 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 had it, it's knackered. Awesome. Okay, so we are seven troops. I think we take the city. Yes we do. Aha! Here comes more troops. Uh they're going to <laughs> So this is exactly what you need to keep an eye on with India. They will fire troops out from all different directions. And we're going to defend the city we've just captured. So let's get on it. We're being attacked. Well, we will potentially be attacked from two directions. Um, but the numbers themselves are not crazy. So we aren't dealing with hordes of Maratha troops like you normally do. Um, yeah, typically, <laughs> typically in the, against the, fighting the Marathas, you just get swarmed and swarmed and swarmed by... Oh, like, yeah, fighting in the town. Terrible idea. Especially against the Marathas. Let's form a defensive position here. Let's put one gun facing this way. Let's build a defensive position here. Except in the middle of these units, we might place another gun. are committed then these men cover the flank we're gonna put a gun team on this higher ground just fire wherever howitzers 
position to shoot in all directions. Oh god, we are in the corner as well. Let's get our light troops and marines. Can wait and see what we want them to do. Although you could probably all position outside of the walls in the first instance. Place stakes. General's bodyguard hold in the centre. So any reinforcements coming in on the right flank. So I might bolster the right flank with my light infantry. Mortars fire round shots, but still everything's still out of range. Light infantry push over to that flank. Or actually, push the the marines can get over there first. Get my skirmish cab up there. The general is. Already interested in opening up. Well, this new force, sorry, is ready to open up. This 24 pounder shrapnel shot, Scylla lances, are already coming for us. Marines form square. into marines. Okay, right. You men get into the line. Heavy cannon. Engage the general's bodyguard. Artillery coming in. Getting off the camel nomads. If you want my cuirassier, you can have them. They're routing. Awesome. The pushes around the other flank are not. They're not going to do what enemy wants them to do. They start quick climbing some of these plumps of cavalry coming in. Killed the enemy general. That's a sweet deal. Shrapnel shot from this battery of 24 pounders. In which case, they start blasting the Hindu warriors. Quick climbs come in. These lances are. Okay, getting up to no good. The shrapnel shot the. Actually, let's hold. No, actually, just put, block it right. Put, drop them right there. If they go any further right, there's not a lot we can do anyway. the Hindu warriors. Form squares. There's a lot of stakes, but there's a lot of cavalry coming in. So we've killed a bunch of them on the stakes. Try and engage the colonial light, but as long as the squares hold. Skirmish units retreat. Curacier charge in and deal with the armed peasantry. Skirmish cavalry cease fire. Get the 
quick climbing units attacking the troops coming in as a reinforcement. They're all going to smash the armed peasantry. Oh, you broke under the lances. What a shameful display from the 145th. And gun down those polygons. Push forward and engage their cavalry. Okay, all my skirmish units here engage that general bodyguard steamboating through my line. Squares are holding off the enemy cavalry. Excellent. Get this line reformed. We've got to deal with the fresh infantry coming in. New men are going to come in as a reserve. So over here, who's over here? Artillery, infantry, infantry. Okay, sweet. from this 24 pounder in the rear. Skirmishers get into the line, skirmish cavalry get back to the line, Curacier hold. Well, well, well. The line infantry came back. didn't want was the enemy we didn't want lots of this enemy um, infantry to push us when we were kind of dealing with the cavalry attack and we were all bundled up okay, you've got both your horse teams oh, no, you don't. your horse team is dead Bad mistake. Push another infantry unit up. So this artillery unit's going to engage their 24 pounders in the rear. This lone gun is going to redeploy. You can reposition. Excellent hits. Pikeman coming in. Demon blast the old peasantry. We should blast the Hindu warriors, actually. That might be a good unit if you'd have a crack at. My light infantry is doing good work. Here comes the pikemen, They're charging in. Reload. Watch out for that outhouse. Hundred forty-fourth are reloading. Charge into the rear of the pikemen. Ooh, quick climb's gonna deal with them, and my troops as well. Yeah, that, that'll happen. 145th. They may have returned from the field. 
return to the battlefield but at great cost. Okay, my fourth Continental Light Dragoons are going to be committed against the enemy threat, enemy camp artillery threat. My artillery bombard the enemy infantry. You attack the 24th Regiment over here. You men attack the 24th 24-pounder regiment. You men blast this general bodyguard unit. Is there still a general in it? There is. Then once they do that, they're going to sweep around and, and deal with the enemy mortars. Very handily they've limbered up, so they are going to be even easier to wipe out. Good quick climb hit. It's always good when you see the flag kind of jump around a lot. So many people are dying so quickly. So the two elephants of Shatnall. General's right there. Got him. There we go. Artillery's been killed. Attack the mortars, but it looks like they've broken anyway. Nice. We can keep this up all day. We've got plenty of gunpowder. Well, that'd be a really interesting aspect of the game, I think, if they added a. There was like a logist. Not a logistics chain, kind of, but like a supply of ammunition. I mean, like a strategic supply rather than an individual supply that gets replenished. But then again, I suppose you, that could get kind of boring. You could get quite. You could get an enormous magazine set up quite quickly. Uh, do I want to intercept this army near our cot? Yes, I do, with your one gun. Come at me. We've got defences. This is exactly why you attack these lone towns. Or these isolated towns, so that when they wander nearby, you can just intercept them, force them to attack you, and destroy their force. That's exactly why we do it. So the enemy's got. The enemy will. They will make a breach because they've got um, an artillery piece, and we are fighting in. We're using. Well, we're defending eastern walls, which fall really quickly. Yeah. Oh, I've been re redeploying the same unit a couple of times. And this is probably enough. Our gunners, I mean, our gunners could sit, might sit back here and see if they can engage their gun team. Meanwhile, we've got a good block of cavalry, including some native lancers. And a huge block of infantry to deal with any breaches they do make. Quick climbs out of range. My well, thought artillery is firing at something. They are firing. Some of the shots have cleared the gate. Yeah, we are hitting them. Nice. There we go. My howitzers are ready to fire. Where are you aiming? You're aiming at this section of the wall. Sweet. Line infantry, get over here. Play some stakes. Yep, sepoys can deploy square in square formation. That is super. Luckily, the gatehouse is indestructible. How it says, how it says, fire quick line. 
lots of cavalry here. Some light infantry with stakes. Uh, no, you're going to run outside the gate. I don't want you to do that. Center, you get a breach. Ooh, knocked a big hole in our peasantry unit. Now, please stand. A lot of my <laughs> artillery fires just. If I try and demolish the wall, it'll kill a lot of my own guys. Okay, you guys aren't scared. They are just going to wait for a breach. And that's fine. Those just mean we got a chance to, to get a lot of kills. Quickly I'm knocked a real big hole in that dervish unit. That's exactly what we wanted to see. There you go, the Hindu warriors. So we've killed five artillerymen, destroyed one horse team. It looks like only one of their guns is actually capable of firing at us. Fifty-one percent, sixty-six percent. There you get my light infantry in the into the armory. Get my quick climb start hitting some of these. focusing on these these units off on the flank I want to focus on that unit in particular because if I can wipe them out then we can redeploy a lot of our okay cool we are about to lose we are about to have a breach created you might just attack really because I think that's our artillery that's doing that damage few of our misses are playing into the fort. And you guys aren't firing, but you can fire into the back of this blob. Actually, we're going to lose it. Actually, let's not do that. Yeah, we're upset. We're upset at that idea. Bring up this company line infantry unit. There. Who's coming up now? Another unit of dervishes. These ones are keen though. So my quick line's gonna come in and start taking great good chunks out of their cavalry force. It looks like they aren't going to. It looks like our artillery has managed to silence their force, but I'm keen to see where you shoot. The war for the walls is okay for the time being. Yeah, you're aiming at this unit. If you want to do that, I want you to do it. 
here on this side of the wall. Um, peasantry are going to join Bray. Make sure you want to fire it off so you're not popping shots off it into the backs of our own guys. Dervishes, dervishes, armed peasantry, they're all coming up in one area. That's what I wanted to see. Cost this for some men. Just form square. Because they're already coming in. Just let my light infantry engage. Everybody else just will stay in square. Yeah. They're going to get caught out, sadly, by the Lancers at the gate, but that's fine. Just I want you to run up here and deal with them. It might be too close for you to drop quick time shots. Still trying to engage the artillery. Dervishes, 170 odd dervishes. Okay, let's send you in. Okay, you can, yeah, you can fire it well, that's okay. Okay, you guys can fire it well. You should all aim at the cavalry that's closer. They're a bit screwed. Awesome, there's just one unit of dervishes left to clear out here. Why don't we you up today? I'm going to give you an order to fire a shrapnel shot here. How well will you lob it over my troops? as you won't. I'll give you an attack order against the breach. Nope, you just go you just go rogue. Your guns are pointing in all directions. The enemy guns are routing. Who's this coming in? Skirmish cavalry. Yeah that cavalry is just getting cut down in this charnel house. We haven't had a chance to build all the defences that we'd like, but we've got a good number of defences. Can you man, just man your positions? Try and kill those elephant musketeers. We, yeah, we've, we've been too aggressive. Probably, if I drop my howitzers back here a bit, they could attack the breach. I'm a bit too close at the minute, but that's okay. Oh, what? That's five elephants and one cannon blast. It's pretty awesome. Go on, you man with the rammer, go ram the gun. Reload. 
ready to fire. Push the gun out. Oh, they're routing. Oh, I didn't get one as they ran away. Now oh, it's uh, switched around, shot, engaged the German bodyguard. I think it's now time to just speed up time. Although the general's going to be gone soon. Who's this coming in? 50 second two man. Do the polygon. They tried to hack down this sepoy. Oh, they got him. They're shattered. Something like that. Okay, if they're not going to attack, then. Dari Horseman, not even the general. Okay, you men man these guns. Oh, they're coming in. Well, they're trying. 72 men strong. Can cut to ribbons. Light infantry. Okay, this is perfect for them. They've got plenty of time to load, make accurate shots at the enemy. Okay. There we go. Pindar horsemen are outing. Is that everybody? Yes. Awesome. That's what we wanted to see. I mean, ideally, we'd be able to funnel them into the breach a bit more, um, a bit more deliberately than what we did do. But you know what? We'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've still got forces around here doing some raiding. Not that we really care about that. Um, they are... They are small in the grand scheme of things. But we've done some good work. We've captured Goa. Mysore will fall our cot is secure and then we've got this force pushing southwest from katak towards hyderabad yeah i think the marathas might be in a lot of trouble but we do need to keep backfilling our invasion with additional troops just so the enemy units don't sweep around behind us and cause us lots of problems we need to bear that in mind it's not we're doing well, but we need to make sure that we organise our campaign movement so that we don't get screwed over and the AI exploit gaps in our line. And it looks like the AI is going to slow this game down somewhat, so I will see you guys in a second. And we are off again. Now, the only thing that happened during the break was that Russia wanted me to swap Comey, this region up here, and give them platoon firing and they'll give me astrakhan and it seemed a bit of a bit of a rum deal because i'm not really that invested in comey i'm not really that invested in astrakhan and they just effectively want me to give them a free technology and and i don't want to okay so we've got some enemy raids these will be in india Dispatch a chunk of my infantry just to go attack the remnants of this army. Virtue and valor unconquered. Uh, you're probably enough to deal with them. them like Actually, cavalry and elephants. Yeah. Glory. Got plenty of troops. Crush them utterly. None of them are in range. But like, the idea is that we can just recruit more infantry as needed. We don't really need Minutemen. Abraham Pitt. Let's recruit another sloop. Keep you marching towards Hyderabad. This force replenish. Goa. Get you replenished. Let's get the governor's barracks rebuilt. Get the fortifications repaired. Get the navy, the dockyard repaired. There they are. Right. 
got a couple of fleets. We definitely want to go knock out that Mysorian. Not Mysorian, Maratha army. There's a lot of things we need to do. First of all, let's set a lot of things to rebuild. Let's get things... Get our buildings upgraded that we want to upgrade. We don't want mercenaries, we want infantry. Once we've got that, we can start start building up troops in Komi. Stockholm. Raid. Keep upgrading. Keep on upgrading. Okay, let's not touch anything in Europe yet. That's not something we have to worry about at the minute. Let's go back over to India. I mean, we are at the end of the episode, really. But what I am going to do is tee up Albert Braddock, go and destroy this Maratha Navy. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Maratha Navy. See you, everyone.